Mic check. One, two. Hey, hey. How many tunes do you want us to do today, you guys? Okay, we'll just do a, uh, we'll do an hour and a half. <laughs> it's usually what sh- that was what we do. <laughs> yeah, it's going on. <laughs> I know, right? Bring the chips and salsa. Okay, check one two. Three a.m. Muddy feet. You and I on that sycamore tree. Summer wind on our skin and blowing away. Come on, come on, baby, come with me. No one will know the whole world is sleeping. Don't you want to find out what it feels like? Come on, come on, let's get a little crazy. We only live once. Ain't like we're 80 and waiting. Baby, jump in. by the way. You guys have probably been talking to him. But Greetings. Paul and I have been traveling together for about eight years. <laughs> Loving it. I say my, um, I'm not tired, but my suitcase. <laughs> a little bit. But I moved to Nashville, not just to become an entertainer and to be a part of that. Is it mainly because I wanted to become a part of the country music songwriting community because it's my favorite one of my favorite things to do and like I think a lot of songwriters the reason we do it is not just to write a song it's to uh, have a therapy session (laughs) and put it down on paper and so um, I had a little breakup in my life that caused me to have a therapy session and put it down on paper this is what happened No. 
another empty night another wasted day why do your best friends have the worst cliches give it some time you'll see it just wasn't meant to be yeah that's what they say I've been laying around, holding down the couch for a good two weeks, trying to wait it out. If ice cream and alcohol were going to work at all, I'd be better by now. You never know when I wake up. There might be fewer clouds in my coffee cup, and maybe the sun will shine on this old heart of mine with a little love. Thank you. You guys are easy. I like it. Um, I was on Team Blake. I don't know if you guys have watched The Voice or what have you, um, but it. I knew I'd pick Blake mainly because of the reason of, of, of the fact that I watched the show the year before, saw how he interacted with everybody, thought he was so cool, and he is. He's one of the greatest guys. I'm sure you guys know him, and he's, he's a wonderful person. But not only because of that, I, uh, I listen to a lot of different kinds of music, but country music is where my heart is. And uh, it was one of the other reasons that I wanted to be on his team. And I love country music because it's the people's music, tells the story of our lives. And uh, this next song is a story of hope in a time and place you might not think you're going to find it. This is called Met Him in a Motel Room, and this is my single. She met him in a motel room in the shady part of town With a set of satin sheets pulled back 
when the window shades fall down like a cotton dress she let her fears fall down to the ground with a do not disturb sign on the door she whispered i've never prayed to you before some people made a mini church at a service on Sunday, as the preacher says the perfect words, they bow their heads to pray, and the choir sings a sweet forgiveness too. She met him in a motel room. With a bottle full of sleeping pills, and a long, long list of sins She'd already planned on checking out Before she checked in She was gonna leave a goodbye No, just needed paper and a pen With a vacancy light blinking red She found that Bible in the drawer beside the bed some people meet him in a church at a service on Sunday. As a preacher says the perfect words, they bow their heads to pray. And the choir sings a sweet forgiveness too. She met him in a motel room. No choir sang a sweet forgiveness to. That's not the way that they were introduced. She met him in a motel room. She met him in a motel room. Thank you. Do you guys have any questions for me? A lot of people have questions about the voice, so that's why I like to offer that up. Ask me anything. Doesn't mean I'll answer. <laughs> it's funny because, like, if I sing in, in front of some teenagers, is Adam Levine as cute in person as he is on TV? <laughs> that's always the yeah. oh, well, yeah. And yes, he is. He's hot. He's really hot. You know what? Not at all. He's really nice. Yeah. Yep. Um, I didn't get to interact with him a lot um, because pretty much what you saw of us with our coaches was what was on television. That's pretty much all there was. And now just because I've been with Blake and and hanging with him and Miranda and stuff, I've been able to interact with the coaches after the fact, except for CeeLo. But I do know that his, um, like all of his team members, and nothing but good things to say about him. And he kind of, he said some of the nicest things to all of us. And I, you know, the perfect the cat thing, that's just a, that's a fake cat, by the way. Well, it's, no, it's a real cat, but it's a, it's not his cat. It's a hired, a hired rental cat. cat. It's a rental cat. The first time ever we ever saw the cat was during our or we were practicing and rehearsing for our blind auditions, and we were in this this uh, building, whatever it was like a rehearsal building, and we had little rooms to go into and rehearse. And I was going coming up and down the hall, I'm like, well, I'm bugging people. I'm going to go in here, and so I start to walk in, and there's this cat in this cage, and all of a sudden somebody comes up and says, "Oh, you can't go in there," you know, kind of thing or whatever. I'm like. So we all thought it was Jinxie, the cat from, from Meet the Parents. We had no idea that was before Perfect was revealed, you know, and it was Perfect. Um, so the cat had, you know, more, um, he probably had a bigger rider than all of us. 
Green M and M's, only green M and M's. But yeah, it was one of the most amazing experiences I've ever done. I would do it over again, and everybody there was very kind. Like the producers were really good to us. They didn't try to create drama, didn't try to change who we were. It was just what it was, which is why I love the show. And then of course, you know, just being able to be part of Blake's crew now. It's I'm very thankful and grateful for everything that's happened. So we'll leave you with a fun one, okay? Bring it back. Two, one, two, three, four. Roll down, roll down your window. Everybody needs to get a little crazy. Play your wild card before you're pushing up daisies. You don't have to risk it all. Just take a little chance and roll down, roll down your window. Hold out your arms now and touch the wind. Sing out loud to the sweet, sweet sound of those wheels going round down the road. Hear from your head to your toes. Sprinkler spraying, kids are playing and laughing. Flags are waving, people smile, so take your time. Now get back to work. <laughs> Thank you.